Hi, this is Dave with Hubstaff, and I wanted to quickly go over the desktop timers with you and what all you can do with them and how they work. So I'm on Windows right now, so I'll show you the Windows version. You can see right now that time is running, and what I mean by that is right here. You can also tell the project that you're currently working on, which is Hubstaff Marketing. You can see the time is running. You can tell the timer to stop. You can tell the timer to start. You can do this as many times as you want. Here's how you change projects within Hubstaff. So if I am, if I switch to uh, this to testing, then I would just hit play, and now you can see started tracking time to Hubstaff testing. Now it also starts over. It tells me the total amount of time I've worked today, but the timer started over because I switched projects to a new project. Now if I go back to Hubstaff outbound, for example, you should see 47 minutes here. Okay, 47 minutes. That's what I've worked today. I've worked a total of 223. This number is not changing because this is the total of what I've worked today in combination of all of these projects. Now I can add a comment and this will go directly to the server. So now that's been sent and I can see that on my activity page now. You can see that's immediate. Time is still 1227. I can view the timer in small mode so you can see the window change so it just basically hides all of the projects or you can view it like this so you can easily switch projects and scroll down and see all your projects this simply that does not stop the timing whenever this green bar is running you'll see that time is tracking left click opens this up time does not stop this simply closes the widget so i'm still active if I do close this, you can also operate Hubstaff from here. So here's where I can, now I right clicked in order to get this menu up. I've got my projects list. I can change the project simply by clicking on one of these. So you can see that the time that the uh, project changed. I can change as many times as I want. I can open the dashboard, which links me directly to hubstaff.com. I can sign out, sign back in. Now, if this is black, that means I'm idle. So in Hubstaff, a project has to be selected for your timer to start tracking. I'll show you that one more time. I can stop working here. Now I'm idle. I open the timer up and you can see it's not running, right? Because it's black, but now if I start, it's green. Now projects are running. If you ever have a problem with Hubstaff, we ask that you report the error with the description. And now this is going to go to our developers. You can check for an update. So you can see that Hubstaff is up to date, but if it wasn't, you could easily update uh, Hubstaff right from the menu here, and it will update to the newest version automatically. So that's about it, really. If you have any questions at all, feel free to email us at support at hubstaff.com, or you can always click on this question mark here when you're logged in, and you can get us that way, okay? Let me know if you have any questions at all. Thank you very much.